Earth and Mars have been stepping on the necks of the belters out here for over a hundred years. I did not want to be the boot. Since the first episode of The Expanse, streaming now on Amazon Prime, I knew this was going to be a different kind of sci-fi show. The vast, sweeping cinematography and attention to detail throughout the show is amazing, but it was an episode of Adam Savage's Tested on YouTube that really inspired me. Adam's interview with the graphic designer for the show, Kim Sisson, and Adam's own appearance on Expanse were the things that gave me an idea of recreating his company's namesake, Savage Industries, coveralls seen in the show Expanse itself. In the interview, they mentioned using clip art and our favorite font, Futura, for the Savage Industries logo. We actually use Futura for a European and B Company logo. I looked around on Adobe stock and found the same ape clip art that she had used as the as the base art to start start the logo creation from. After cutting everything away, I converted it to curves and brought it into Cameo Silhouette Studio to make a stencil out of the artwork. This was going to be a two-color job. The white of the letters and the ape background, and then the gold ape artwork itself was going to sit on top. I don't have a silk screen set up, so any projects need to be either only one color or very loose registration. Luckily, the two colors don't have to be very precise, so I was able to use acrylic paint to apply the art. I used my vinyl cutter, the Cameo Silhouette, to create the art and then print it out. It's actually cutting it out of vinyl. And then you weed the negative shapes to create a stencil. Usually you weed out the positive shapes to apply letters to a wall or to a door or to glass. But this time I weeded out the negative shapes to create a negative impression because I was making a stencil. I mixed my own custom blend of burnt amber, gold, and a touch of green to match the artwork I had seen on Adam's tested video. Once the two colors of acrylic paint were dry, I attached fabric Velcro to various positions that I had chosen on the coveralls, and then I added the other side of the Velcro to the patches themselves. This gives me the freedom to move the patches around wherever I want. I am all ready for deep space repairs now. Thanks for watching. See you next time in the lab.